Graham Elwood, the political vigilante, and Steph Zamorano. Hello. Hi, Timmy. Hi, good to see you. Thanks for uh, being here. Look at that t-shirt Steph has on. Where did oh, you get that? One? That's a Jimmy Dore t-shirt. You can get it right below. There's a link to our store. Go there, get them. Okay, so, uh, oh. you know, the whole focus of the show has been uh, how do we get progressive ideas Same forwarded day. in our uh, in our government, in our body politic. I don't even know if that's how you use that term, body politic. I like it. And... Um, and so it used to be through the Democratic Party, so there's only, we're left with our binary choices in America. You only get to choose two corporate approved candidates from two corporately owned parties, right? So we've been pushing uh, for, a, I've been pushing for a third party. I was with the draft Bernie. I voted for Jill Stein. I think the Democratic Party is so corrupted that they need the influence of a third party if we're ever going to reform them. Like, they need the threat of the third party. Meaning, what I said, if everybody who believed in the Green New Deal voted for a Green New Deal in 2016, the Greens would have gotten at least 10% of the country's vote, probably way more than that. And that would have changed the Democratic Party because no longer could they whack their fingers at progressives. They would actually have to reach out to progressives, which is something they don't do. Or they would be... Uh, to, to the dustbin of politics, which is kind of where they are now. They're wiped out. And so everybody has their own idea of why this happened. If you listen to Joanne Reed and the corporate Democrats, they say it's just because there's a lot more racists in the country now. They just have, they, I don't know, we imported them. I don't know. Maybe I didn't know that. But apparently all those people who voted for Barack Obama twice turned out to be big racists who then voted for Donald Trump. Here's the reason why. The Democrats are wiped out at every level of government. Here's the reason why when Barack Obama left the presidency, Donald Trump succeeded him instead of another Democrat. This is why the Democrats are wiped out in the Senate, in the House, and have lost over a thousand seats statewide. This is why more than 70% of the governorships are now in the hands of Republicans. This is why the Democrats are wiped out. I'm going to show you why. You want to know why? This is why. Because the Democrats are now Republicans. And this isn't hyperbole. This isn't an exaggeration. We've been saying this. We've said that Bill Clinton did things in the 90s that Republicans could only dream of doing. And I'm going to show you this. I'm not going to tease it anymore. Here's Barack Obama. He was being accused of being a socialist because that's what the Republicans always do. Remember, they you can't elect, you can't nominate Bernie. They'll call him a socialist. They've been calling Democrats a socialist since FDR. That's what, they, that's what they do. They just call you socialists. Barack Obama is going to answer that criticism here. But the answer to that criticism reveals a bigger flaw. And the reason why the Democrats lose and are wiped out. Here it comes. Believe that. The truth of the matter is, is that uh, my policies are so mainstream that you know, if, if I had said the same policies that I had back in the 1980s, uh, I'd be considered a moderate Republican. I mean, you know. That's the first black president ever elected in the United States. That's the Democratic standard bearer talking uh, a year or two after the biggest economic downturn in the history of our country since the Great Depression. And how did he fix it? He fixed it with moderate Republican policies. And he's bragging about it. He doesn't know to be He's not embarrassed. He's not embarrassed. If my policies were in the 80s, I'd be considered a moderate. That's what I was saying. That we elected Barack Obama, we got Bob Dole anyway. They said it was important. It's important to vote for president, you know, because when Barack Obama ran against Mitt Romney, well, if Mitt Romney would have won, we would have got Romney care, but Barack Obama won, so we got Romney care. You see how it's important to vote, right? Because they're both owned by the corporations. They're both in bed. He just admitted it. He's not even hiding it. Like when he says that in public, that doesn't flip a switch, an alarm switch down at the DNC headquarters. Hey, the president just said his policies are Republican. And nobody screamed. And by the way, this wasn't in great times. It's not like we're in boom times, so it doesn't really matter. Half the country's poor or low income. And he's out here bragging that he's a moderate Republican. Well, why the fuck did we vote for you then? We voted for an alternative to moderate Republicans. 
And that's why the Democrats are wiped out. Because when given a choice between a Republican and a Republican, they pick a Republican every goddamn time. So this is Democrats. This is neoliberalism. They don't even they, they don't even see it as an embarrassing thing to admit that we're Republicans. That's neoliberalism. That's what they mean when they say one party. And this is it. This is it right there. He's not even embarrassed. I'll play it for you one more time. I believe that. The truth of the matter is, is that uh, my policies are so mainstream that you know, if if I had said the same policies that I had back in the 1980s, uh, I'd be considered a moderate Republican. I'm so what we've said on this show is that the Republican Party moved to the right and the Democrats also moved to the right. And there's no left anymore. There's no left in America. There's one party, it's corporate. It's only in two degrees. He's... He's laying it out for you. He's not even trying to fucking lie about it. He does, and he's giggling over it. I'd be concerned about a Republican. Is, and that's a good thing. That's the sickness of the well-to-do, well-moneyed, well-educated liberal. The sickness of wanting to become like your enemy or your opponent. Democrats want to be loved by the people who hate them. I don't know what that is, but how about Hillary Clinton? Oh, Henry Kissinger loves me. Why would you, as a Democrat, want a war criminal Republican who worked for Nixon and carried out an illegal war? Why would you brag? Because they are Republicans. Because there's no greater achievement for a neoliberal Democrat than to be accepted by corporatists. That's their big look. They like me. That Clinton's run around talking about how George Bush is a, he's a brother from another mother to Bill Clinton. That's the greatest achievement that these neoliberals can ever achieve is to become friends and liked by corporatist right-wingers. He's admitting his policy, and, and he doesn't even think... He does, he's not worried that Democrats are going to be upset that, wait a minute, you're a Republican? Now, Graham, you, you experienced some of this... Um, his, some of his moderate Republican policies, right? One of his moderate Republican policies was to bail out the banks on the backs of middle class and poor homeowners while making them foreclose, by foreclosing on 5.1 million houses in America. He didn't bail them out and help them. He screwed them. And why did he screw them? Because it, it, it helped the bottom line for the banks. Now, Graham, you had that happen. What do you think about Barack Obama saying that he's a moderate Republican? Well, I yeah, I got to eat some of that great moderate Republicanism as he actually, I, I hate to correct you, but it was 5.2 million oh, foreclosures. Okay. Uh, the two communities that were hit the worst by Barack Obama's policy is black and Latino. A lot of right. liberals, friends of mine, friends right. of ours, say, oh, he just inherited Bushes. And, right. and, uh, no, 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 no. No, watch the movie Inside Job, read the book Chain of Title. There was $700 billion by George Bush in September of 08. In mm -hmm. February of 09, after our moderate Republican mm -hmm. Obama friend that I voted for twice, he put an additional $700 billion into bail out the banks. What he, what these banking companies did, people like One West Bank, they went around. They, Steve Mnuchin. Steve Mnuchin, who, uh, when he was in charge of One West Bank, was not prosecuted by Attorney General of the State of California, mm -hmm. Kamala Harris. Right. The new even, lady, though, even though his... Her own office investigators said they found a thousand cases of banking malpractice, robo signing, robo signing, all that stuff. And if they investigated, they'd find a thousand more. And Kamala Harris did not prosecute Steve Mnuchin. Go ahead. No, she also doesn't want purity tests. So what right. they did, One West Bank, here's what they did to me, and they did this to millions of other people. They bought my mortgage from Indy Mac Bank for about thirty to forty percent of its value. So I was living in Santa Monica, near the beach. I had a nice condo. It was my dream home. I made some money in TV. I did the thing you're supposed to do. I bought a little house. It appreciated its value. I bought a bigger place. This was going to be my retirement. And the downturn happened. I wasn't getting as much work. Um, you know, Christmas parties got dried up. It's a big business for us as stand-up comics. And money was hurting. Show business was hurting. Like it was hurting all industries all over America. So they bought my mortgage for 30 to 40% of its value and then sold it to different mortgage companies. The mortgage companies then looked at certain neighborhoods. I had a friend of mine that was in a neighborhood that was very overvalued. He got stimulus money. 
they kept him in his house because foreclosing him would have cost them money. Yeah. They looked at my situation and said, oh, the, 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 by the beach it dipped a little, property values came right up. They went, it make, we'll make more money if we foreclose and get Graham out of there. Yes. So what they did is they said, Graham, we're putting you on a forbearance. Three months, we're cutting your mortgage payment in half, and then we'll restructure your loan. I was like, oh, thank God. I started renting the place out, was living in a small apartment, doing whatever I can to save it. Oh, thank God. After the three months, they went, oh, you don't qualify now. This is under Barack Obama. This is under, well, this happened under Bush, and then Obama did it to me twice. Twice. So Obama fucked me over twice. Bush started it, the mm -hmm. fucking, and this guy finished it. Yeah, because there's one part. There was no difference in banking policy between Barack Obama no. and George Bush. There's no difference. In fact, he made the banks bigger. He kicked out more people from their houses, Barack Obama. So he didn't do any of the things that a progressive or a Democrat would do. He did exactly what yes. Bob Dole would do or George Bush would do. Right. That's exactly what's wrong with the party. They're just Goldman Sachs with a rainbow flag. I've said this a million times. That's all they are. That's all they are. They put rainbow flags, and he put rainbow flags on his drone strikes when he killed civilians in the middle. Yeah. That's why. He, so it's a liberal drone strike, right? It's a it's a it's a friendlier drone strike. So what he did. So then, so then the banks told me, "Oh, Graham, you're three months behind." Oh. Uh, and then that was under Bush, and then Obama gets sworn in. Oh, there's an Obama, the new Obama stimulus, and I was like, "I voted for him. I'm going to be safe." They huh. did the same thing to me again. And now they're like, you're six months behind. So now I'm 15, 20 grand behind on my mortgage. There's no, I can't. I'm hoping, and, sh and, I've, and I had the thin hope of show business of maybe I'll get a big TV show and get some big paycheck right. and wipe it out. Most Americans don't even have that option. That didn't happen for me because yeah. that's a lottery ticket. Right. And you know what? The little I know about this and having several friends go through a similar situation, the mechanisms in place aren't that easy to understand. Oh, of course not. Here's the thing, Stephanie. So I would get a notice in the mail saying, oh, you owe 14 grand. I'd go to the website, oh, you owe 11 grand. I'd call someone on the phone, they go, oh, you owe 16. They didn't, none of their numbers made any sense. I was talking to lawyers. They're like, oh, Graham, you know, I hired a law firm. They said, you know what? Um, stop making payments. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have heard this. Stop making payments. And then when you get in your foreclosure, believe me, they don't want you to foreclose. Mm -hmm. Before the banks were completely bailed out by the, the federal, by, by our tax dollars, a little bank, it was in their best interest to keep you in your home. But not this way because no. I could, the government, I get tax money. Right. Boom. So then I came and then the judge was like, nope. And I, I had to. And that's Barack Obama. So the point Barack of this Obama. is the point of this is that's Barack Obama instituting moderate Republican policies. That he's look at the smile on his face. He's bragging about it. The first black president, a Democrat, elected after eight years of George Bush and Dick Cheney, is bragging that his policies are moderate Republican, which is what George Bush said he was. And you wonder why the Democrats are wiped out. You wonder why that not the corporate Democrats, when we say this, they say we have a purity test. No, we just want you to be goddamn Democrats. We just want you to represent the people that elected you. That's all. Why do they continually run from the left? You know what I mean? It's like they're a fool. Oh, socialism. They're, oh, no, 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 no. They should be standing on a podium going, yeah, we're socialists. Just FDR, because I'm so sick of this, like, listening to these Nancy Pelosi morons going, we're the party of FDR. Then act like fucking FDR. Right. FDR was a goddamn socialist. I've never heard Nancy Pelosi mention FDR. Have but you? I've heard some corporate Democrats yeah. say, we're the party of FDR. Okay. We're the party. They list all their past victories. Right. It's mm. like, what does that have to do with anything? Yeah. It, then, then be it. You're not, well, you know what? And if you think about it, all the nefarious, uh, illegal activities all these banks have done, and they're still in business. Still in business. And I can see Chase Manhattan down right. the street on Lake. I can see Bank of America. I can see Wells Fargo. I can see all of these banks. And nobody has been prosecuted for what they did and cheated so many Americans out of their homes and properties. It's unbelievable. And I still don't understand how we bailed at the banks, but never bailed out Americans. No, Americans didn't get bailed out. And I said this, what if we were talking about the 5.2 million homes Obama saved with his progressive right. socialist policy? We would be like, I voted for that man. He's our guy. And the Democrats would have won. Yes. In 2016. Yeah. I, do you think those 5 million people voted for Hillary Clinton? Those 5 million families? Right. 
Those are, those aren't five million people. Those are five million homes. 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 So there's a lot more millions of people inside those homes than than one. Five point two million people losing investment equity, losing retirement money, losing security, right. losing uh equity that they can use for kids' college tuition, right. for any number of things, or investing in a small business, all gone. And this is why. This is why, because the Democrats are Republicans, and again, that people, oh, you're crazy, yeah, you, oh, you don't think that you don't think the Democrats are better than Trump? Yes, that doesn't mean they're still not Republicans. I think Jeb Bush is better than Trump. That doesn't mean I like him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't. That doesn't mean I want him. I think the Kasich is better than Trump. That doesn't mean I want John Kasich. Yeah, an arsonist is better than a serial killer, Jimmy. Yeah, that's exact right. That's what you're saying. So the, these are, so you, you got your choice. You got your choice. Bob Dole or Donald Trump. Those are my two choices. I get a Republican or a fucking crazy Republican. Yeah, those are your so choices. You can, so you can have a moderate Republican and everyone's happy. That's what he thinks. Do you realize what he's saying there is selling out the black community? What he's doing there is selling out his family. He's selling out every minority. Every person who's not... Ah, he sell. He couldn't sell them out harder. Our first black president. I'm a moderate Republican, motherfucker. But doesn't that make you, you can, feel? I'm sorry, Jimmy. But doesn't it make you feel like really naive? After all this is said and done, and no. the first black American president that we're given, the donors gave us, that he wasn't going to be compromised. Well, it made me feel duped. I was certainly duped. Yeah, I certainly thought, like lots of other people, Thomas Frank included, so it doesn't make me feel so stupid to say this because he's a smarty pants guy, that he thought Barack Obama was going to be the next FDR, and so did I. And that's why I voted for him, and I voted for him the second time because it was him or freaking Mitt Romney. It's Again, it's that thing of who you got to do. And then they try to do it again with Tr Trump, and I'm like, fuck you. We're done. I'm done with your... Your neoliberal bullshit. I'm done with you taking two wars to seven. I'm done. And you know what? So what the Democrats will do is he'll go around the country. He'll go around the world. He was just in Italy, and he wagged his finger at the voters. He said, well, when half the country doesn't come out to vote, that's what you get. You know why half the country doesn't come out to vote? Because you don't give them a reason to come out to vote. I was thinking, you fucking failure, you buffoon. It's like a sports team that's bad. Blaming the fans. Yes. We're playing bad football. We lose a bunch of games. We're sloppy. We're dumb. Hey, fans, how come you're not buying tickets to come watch our shitty football game? Well, you know, additionally, 50% of Americans are struggling. Struggling. Right. So we have the working poor. So I'm the working poor having to go and vote that day. How am I going to get out of work? How am I going to pick up my kids? How am I going to pay my right. bills? Right, exactly. And Democrats are doing absolutely nothing to make my life better. Yeah, so he has a 12-hour window on Tuesday. So he doesn't go, oh my God, half the country doesn't vote. I wonder what we're doing wrong. What he does, he goes, half the country doesn't vote. Ta, slackers. He sounds like a Republican. That's what they say. Now, is what, what, so if you, and if you don't have health care in America, it's your fault. If you don't have enough money to pay your college loans, it's your fault. If you don't, if you can't make your, if you have to decide between medicine and rent, that's your fault. That's what Barack, that's what Republicans say. That's what Barack Obama says now. Is it, is it the 26 million independents that were shut out of the Democratic primary? Is that, that their fault? They weren't allowed to vote in the Democratic primary? Yeah, we have a system where we have, it's ri we rig the primary, where we have super delegates, so it doesn't matter how the people vote, and then they still don't want to come out and vote. That's Barack Obama. That's why the Democrats are wiped out. It's not because of Susan Sarandon. It's not because of Josh Fox. It's not because of Jagoff nightclub comedians. It's not because of Jill Stein. It's because the Democratic Party completely sold out the Democratic Party to the goddamn corporations. And now they're Republicans. And there's no fucking point to vote for Democrats. And things would have only gotten worse with Hillary Clinton, not better. We would have the same fucking problem. A right-wing demagogue up against a corporatist fucking warmonger who exploded the prison population. That's who the Democrats are. The Democrats are now the party that, de that decaps unions. That's what they did with NAFTA and the TPP. They're now the party that guts welfare. That's what Bill Clinton 
Clintons did. They're not the party that explodes the prison population. That's what the Clintons did. They're not the party that repeals the New Deal. That's what they did when they repealed the banking legislation in Glass-Steagall. They're not the party that cuts Social Security and Medicare. That was the grand bargain. That's what Barack Obama wanted to do. Cut Social Security and Medicare. These guys are fucking Republicans, and you can't understand why we won't fucking vote for them, and you say we're purists? You guys are fucking sold-out morons, and you're also wiped out. But still wag your finger at progressives. It's not that. You want to hear it again? I'm going to fucking play it again. Believe that. The truth of the matter is, is that uh, my policies are so mainstream that you know, if if I said the same policies that I had back in the 1980s, uh, I'd be considered a moderate Republican. I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> what I believe in is. Uh, oh, oh, right. Come on, I mean, my, look at my policies. You know I'm not a liberal, I'm not a lefty. You know I'm bought. Come on, my whole cabinet came from Citigroup. You know that. You saw the WikiLeaks email that revealed that my entire cabinet came from a fucking office at Citigroup. You know that, right? Come on. What do you believe in? Tax system that's fair. You believe in a tax system that's fair? Fair for millionaires? Yeah. And everybody who's making over a quarter million dollars a year? That's Because that's who it's fair for. Mitt Romney plays a lower fucking tax rate than I do. Mitt Romney plays a lower tax rate than Steph does, than Arno does, than Graham does, than everybody I know. Mitt Romney pays a lower fucking tax rate. And you know who made the Bush tax cuts permanent? Mr. Republican. He, again, the Democrats doing shit that Republicans couldn't do. George Bush couldn't get those tax cuts permanent. Barack Obama did. George Herbert Walker Bush couldn't get NAFTA passed. Bill Clinton could. They couldn't repeal Glass... Ronald Reagan couldn't repeal Glass-Steagall. Bill Clinton could. Uh, I don't think government can solve every problem. Especially if I try to solve them with Republican policies. You know the policies that don't fix problems? Those are the ones I'm implementing. I just told you. I just bragged about them. You know, that's why government can't fix every problem, especially if I don't use any of the solutions that liberals come up with, like single-payer health care, or a public option, or breaking up the banks. But we can't, Or maybe ending fucking wars instead of starting them. Yeah, no, no, they can't, government can't fix every problem. Especially if you don't fucking, if you do it, uh, if you do... If you use the government like a moderate Republican, no, you can't solve problems. I think that we should make sure that we're helping young people go to school. We should. Uh. We're not. I didn't do anything. In fact, you know, they just, they, they just, at the blink of an eye, said we can spend an extra $80 billion a year on the military with no debate, no discussion in the country about that. They just, $80 billion more a year to the military. Nobody gives a shit. It would have cost $65 billion to send everybody to free college. Barack Obama, did you fight for that? No. Did you? Were you screaming about the $80 billion they're spending? No. So this is all bull. Do you want to know why the Democrats are wiped out? Do you want to know why we're not voting for them? This is why. Want to know why Hillary lost? This is why. Barack Obama is a fucking Republican buffoon. And even when I say this at the Young Turks, they look at me like I'm fucking crazy. No one wants to admit. No, no one, one wants no, to. Admit no one it. wants to admit because he's nice. He's polite. He's a very well educated man. He doesn't say offensive things. He doesn't grab pussy. He doesn't grab pussy. Right. He's not vulgar. He's, he's not, not vulgar outwardly. He's not. Yeah. But his policies are vulgar. Vulgar. How, how vulgar is it when you kill civilians in the Middle East with a drone strike? With drone strike. How vulgar is it that Chelsea Manning? Was, was tortured. It, tortured for seven years because she blew the whistle on your illegal goddamn war in Yemen. How vulgar is it? How vulgar is it that 5.2 million people lost their homes and then you get $400,000 to speak at Cantor Fitzgerald after you leave the White House? That's vulgar to me. That's vulgar. You do it with a nice smile and a $2,000 suit. But yeah. It's like, it's like, well, you know, if I come in and wear really nice clothes and shit on your floor, is it, is that, is that, better you know it's like un it's unreal what they do and no one wants that well the republicans are so much worse it's how how how, are they how? Worse? how he deported two million people i know he was called the deporter in chief what the fuck are you talking about like what are what is anyone talking about wake up i'm glad hillary won't go away because it's it's a, a good reminder uh, right right it's a good reminder and even some of her supporters are going jesus christ let's just do a little more of this 
We should make sure that our government is building good roads and bridges and hospitals and, and pipelines. And except he didn't. Except he had eight years, no infrastructure plan, no jobs plan, no nothing. Our city, our goddamn, we have a D rating for our infrastructure. He fucking knows that. He didn't do any of that. You know what he did do? He took two wars and made them seven. He, he increased the military budget. He made, took the banks and made them bigger. That's what he did. Well, I was just thinking, you know, uh, I thought the president that I voted for was the president that was going to support the water protectors. Right. Like, I really thought, I really thought he was virtuous. I really believed it. He never let that pipeline happen. No, he did nothing because he was too busy with no. his proxy war in Yemen. He let it play out. He let it play out. That's let what he said. Let it play out. He goes, well, and I even had friends, again, let me <coughs> liberal friends. I go, what's, it, what's he supposed to do? And I said, the cops are on Army Corps land. That's federal land. The president of the goddamn United States is coming and go, done. Yes. Out. Like, what? He did nothing. He did this token act in bring December. In, yes. Just because he knew Trump would overturn it. Yep. You see, the whole summer, he, the whole summer of, of Standing Rock, yep. he did nothing. And Hillary didn't even acknowledge it. You wonder why the Democrats won? The Democrats lost because they're fucking moderate Republicans. He's got a little bit more to say. That uh, you know, we have a good infrastructure. Yeah. I do believe that uh, it makes sense that everybody in America, as rich as this country is, shouldn't go bankrupt because they get sick. I mean, I, I believe that idea. I'm not going to actually pass a public option. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to work against the public option. I'm going to go fuck over Dennis Kucinich, who was holding up my uh, Obamacare because he wanted a, a public option. I'm going to go screw over Dennis Kucinich. This, this guy is a buffoon. And if you don't see through that, you are fucking gullible. The guy's a goddamn buffoon. And I have many arguments about this motherfucker with a lot of people. Yeah, he's a gentleman. And he looks pretty. And he knows how to give a good speech. And he's a fucking sellout. From the day, from the moment he wakes up in the morning to the moment. He's still out there right now. He's doing a tour right now getting a half million dollars out of fucking crack for, to, to, to private equity firms and banks. People he took EPA regulations and lo loosened them for them. That's what he's doing right now. Right out in the open, they steal. Right out in the open, they're corrupt. Right in your fucking face. And, they, and he doesn't give a shit. He's taking half a million dollars out of clip from banks. Right now he's doing that. What's Bernie Sanders doing? Trying to get Medicare for all paid to pass. What's Hillary Clinton doing? She's doing a book tour where she shits on the fucking progressives. Trying to get Medicare for all. And you wonder why the Democrats are wiped out. This is the fucking standard bearer and your last nominee is, a, is run, run, running around wagging her finger still a year later? Blaming everybody but herself? This is why the Democrats are wiped out. And if you ever fucking doubt it, just show this to everybody. Anybody who wants to know why the Democrats are wiped out, show them this fucking video clip. You show them. Because he's not even making it. This, this isn't a gray area. He's bragging that he's a goddamn Republican. 